Yo, what's up guys, Zua here, and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to make your own Minecraft profile picture, and I will probably give some examples on the screen now on how, what they look like, um, but there will be a result, um, at the start of this, so yeah, let's get right into it, so what you will need is a light room, which I'm going to be using the Mondays V2, although I will put a free option, Along with the free option of a rig, as these are both paid for. This is a rig, this is a light room. Um, the rig is basically your Minecraft character that you're going to have. And then the light lighting is... Ignore them random things. But the light room is uh, what shades the character in pretty nice, you'll see. Um, if you watch my banner tutorial, you probably came in from that. And yeah, um, let's get right into it. So you'll also need Cinema 40 in Photoshop, but yeah. That's about it. Uh, right, so open Cinema 4D, which I've already got open, and it should look like this. All right. Once you've opened Cinema 4D, drag in the um, hold up, drag in. Oh my, issues of two monitors. <laughs> drag in the Lightroom, which should be hmm. Does this come with the vendor settings? Hopefully. Sorry about this, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna use the best vendor settings, or you can use other ones. So just double click them and then double click that. I don't know why I keep seeing that. But now we've got the Lightroom and the render settings here, which are there. Um we're gonna drag in the rig, which is here. So I'm using CMR, which is a customizable Minecraft rig by Flash, which is a paid rig, so I'll put that in the description as well, along with the Lightroom, but if you don't want to buy them, you can get free ones, so I'll also give free options like FMR edits and whatnot. Alright, so, first things first, we're going to want to apply this skin, so, um, my skin has eyes here. So all you're going to want to do is go into Photoshop and pretty much copy these pixels and put them up there. I'll probably quickly do that just to show you guys how to do that. Which maybe I should have opened Photoshop before. Alright, now that Photoshop's open, you just want to file open. Find your skin. So I've already got a no eyes one, but yeah, like this. And simply zoom in by holding control and plus. Uh, you just go wheels use these side options and literally all you want to do is just control CV after selecting it with this tool and put it there so go back to this tool do that again control CV oh make sure you click on the layer again there you go and then file save as and put PNG and then save it as something but I'm not gonna do that as I've already got one so I'm gonna just go um, back into here and I'm going to quickly colour the eyes, so the way I'm going to do that in the CMR edit is I'm going to disable the eyes first there and I'm just going to apply these colours onto the gradient so you'll see what this does in a minute and this one and the last one here and now enable the eyes and you see we've got lighter at the bottom and then darker green at the top and now I'm gonna quickly put the skin without the eyes on there we go and now I'm gonna bring this down and bring these two up and go into here find the pupil size pupil height even and set up to 75 you can set it to 100, but you might want to do it like this as well, because it's a bit glitchy. You can set it to 100, but it looks a bit weird, so 75 is pretty much a nice one to go to. Um, Alright, now um, I'm going to enable the hat layer, which in this rig it comes with auto extrude, but I'm not going to... Um, I'm going to do another tutorial on how to extrude. Um, in a separate video so for you guys that want to learn how to do that there'll probably be a link in the description when I've finally done that tutorial which will probably take a while so I'm gonna just use the auto extrude and then I'm gonna 
apply an extra like extrusion to it by clicking just on the hair click that and then just add some depth to it really it's pretty straightforward um free the way I do it is just like add whatever's next to it Can you dig it? to It looks a bit weird, but it's alright. <laughs> and then, um, you're gonna wanna just make a position really for your character. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, hmm, how do I want my character to stand? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna make my character sit in a minecart. So, I'm gonna get another rig that I have, but. It's a free rig, so I'll leave the download in the description. Um, it's... Let me see, I've got two rigs I can choose from, so... Uh, I'll probably end up using Tumors. Yeah, Tumor bits. Or Tumor bits, I don't even know. Uh, misc. You've got to find it, though. Transportation. Oh, I don't know if he has it, you know. He may not have it. Right, I will have to use weed lines. Weed line will have it for sure. Drag it in. Um, mechanism maybe? No. This is in better. Nope. Huh. That's strange. Aha, I found it guys. <laughs> Anyway, so it's under other in the wee line rig that I'll have in the description. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make some rotation, just some unnatural, like, well, natural looking <laughs> rotation. And I'm gonna quickly click this dot twice here to hide it and make it make a kind of sitting action. like that and then enable it again and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the rig hit R or you can use these and rotate it there we go and then press E or click that one and just lower the rig so all I'm doing right now is just making a cool looking render okay now I'm gonna use the rotation tool just along here to make some cool bone it's pretty straightforward you know but that's all right there we go and then okay so to do the mouth you just gotta fiddle around with these bits but instead i'm gonna just go over here I'll probably add these two. Give this guy a little smile. I'll open his mouth a bit. Actually, there we go. I'm just give him a little smile. Okay, and now I'm just gonna make him rotate a bit more to make it look cooler. And I think the way I'm going to position this camera is going to be down here. So I'm going to rotate the head a bit more like that. And maybe do that so he can have an item in his hand still. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to add a camera real quick. And the way I add um, the cool look to it. He's just go to the field of view, or is it center? Ah, wait, F I don't even remember. I believe it's center. Yeah, it's center. 
Okay, to do that, set the sensor film gate, this bit here, sensor size film gate. So 100. And then just zoom in. It just, and you can use the rotate tool as well, like that. By holding your F cl uh, right click, sorry. Just make a really cool angle. There you go. And now I'm just gonna quickly sort the eyes a bit, just so he's looking towards the camera a bit. There we go. And I'll probably sort out this smaller bit because it looks a bit weird. Just oh, what have I done? <laughs> you need to always like sort out this. It's not so what am I talking about? It's pretty hard to control this. I don't know. Cinema 40, I don't know why. Um, hmm, I might make the camera in a different position, so like here maybe. I'll give this guy a sword by clicking here, tools. Actually, in his left hand I'll give him a pickaxe. And it'll be a diamond pickaxe. Yeah, I'm gonna leave like that. Alright, and I'll probably give him a cape as well by going to here, graphics. Um, I need to find a file, so I'm just gonna go here. I've got a ton of capes that look pretty cool. Actually, I go into my graphic assets. I have got this pack here. Mine can that uh, random. There's some pretty cool capes in there, but I'm gonna use the Eye of Ender cape, which is that one. Yep. Yeah. And then click yes. And then it's just a matter of messing around with the bends. That looks pretty cool. I want to zoom out a little bit just so you can capture the whole render and then you can mess around with these things the weird thing about this rig is when it says it's enabled it's actually disabled because look nothing's happening to the cape even watch around there and when you disable it there you go just want to mess around with this There we go. Um, I'm just gonna rotate it like that. There we go. And now that you've done your render, you can go ahead and render it out by going to here. To check, to, uh, check that box. Um, find a place to save it. So I'm gonna save it in my renders folder. I've got a ton of renders in. And I'm gonna just call this profile picture tutorial. And then you can hit render. And it should be good to go. And I'll bring you guys back when I'm in the Photoshop part. Now that my render's done, I'm going to open Photoshop, which is here. And um, for this part, you will need some screenshots, but you can go on Google to find them, to be honest. You just need one screenshot, plus you're going to blur it out anyway, so it's not really noticeable. So well, I've got a screenshot pack already, there's many free, free screenshot packs out there, so I'm going to use a free one instead of my premium shadows one that I normally would use so if I go into my graphics that's it I will leave a link in the description as well it's Draggy Boom's colorful screenshot pack version 2 which is here and I'm gonna just look through the screenshots and see what looks like something that would just suit my <laughs> hmm I like 28 so I'm gonna create file new and I'm gonna make it HD very HD 1920 by 1920 and I'm gonna file place and I'm gonna locate that which to locate it just locate it I don't know why you said that um I'm retarded 
Um, uh, sorry if I'm saying um a lot, but I just say it a lot. I'm really weird. Um, <laughs> I just said it again. Right, so when you found your screenshot, just double click it. There you go. Resize it so it's like about that. And rasterize the layer. And I'm gonna zoom out a bit by using Control minus. I'm just gonna rotate it a bit. Like, actually, wait. Let's put our render in as well. What did I save the? Oh yeah, profile picture. Control. Right. Sometimes there's errors. Like, as you can see there, that's not meant to be there. That white bit is there, but that, that bit isn't. So I'm going to rasterize the layer. Click there. Delete that. And that's it. Um, you might want to put it to under tolerance. Um, there was a bit where I couldn't do that in my um, tutorial that I did in my banner. So if you go back and watch that, if you can't do what I just did there, <laughs> um, you'll see how I got rid of it. Alright, so just reset, reset, resize. I said it again. Resize and rotate it how you want so I'm gonna do it like that maybe a bit smaller okay and now with the background I'm gonna rotate it accordingly so I feel like if you rotate your head with it you can kinda see it see what's going on okay <laughs> um, now I'm gonna Add my render settings onto this guy, so um, I'm gonna go to what was I gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna control J to duplicate it, create clipping mask, then I'm gonna go to filter, filter gallery, and then copy these settings. So you wanna go to stylize, click on that first, and then uh, click this, so it adds it adds the um layer here, and then go to artistic plastic wrap and click that as well but make sure you copy the settings so 265 597 press ok and then hit this to overlay while selecting that now lower this bar to something like that it just adds that little edge like as you can see and now use your eraser tool and make sure it's not on the hard one which is this it's on the smooth one and just rub out your face and now click on the bottom one here and add your render settings which I'll show here uh, color dodge 80% opacity make it white just copy everything you see here and then multiply 5 19 11 14 color overlay blue may change that to green but now nah, I kind of like it um green overlay like that there you go and now hold control shift and click this one and right click merge layers Okay, now that you've done that, um, you're going to want to duplicate it again, create clipping mask, and this time you're going to go to filter, blur, motion blur, set it to 32, and just mess with this, there we go, and now use your eraser tool and just what about where you want focusing, so around there. There we go. And now you can merge them together. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some colour correction onto the bottom background, and then some onto the top. So let's start with the bottom. I'm going to create a group, go to adjustment layers, and start with the brightness and contrast. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, oh. Sorry, I'm gonna add curves. And then I'm gonna go on to vibrance. Do about there. And then photo filter. You set that to around green. There you go, so you can get a nice kind of background going. And then, I think I'm about done. I'm not sure what that does to be honest. <laughs> oh, gradient map can be good sometimes. So, 
a linear dodge ad. Sometimes. Maybe how I like to darken it. There we go. Now, as you can see, we've got a kind of better colour correction going for the background. That's just my style I'm going for. You can make it brighter, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. Now I'm going to add a group above this one and change the levels around here. It will affect the bottom ones as well, but... Um, I might attach this to... Yeah, for this one I'm gonna go here. Uh, oh, not that one. I'm gonna click on here. Go to vibrance. That's still affecting the background, but oh well. Just bring it back up there. Um, maybe if I create it, oh, you can't create it. Click on oh well. Um, now I'm going to color balance. Boost the green, boost the blue a bit more, and probably low just there. And that's about it. Maybe add a oh, add a kind of maybe a blue photo like that. There you go. Now you see the color correction, how it affects the picture. Um, these aren't even in the group. Hold on, <laughs> that's a bit awkward. Uh, oh no, there we go. Just drag them in. Now you see how the colour correction affects the picture. So this is before. This is after. So yeah. Um, that's about it for this part. Um, now what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually open this pack. Which is free. So I'll also link this in the description too. I'm not sure why I didn't add these on the start. But oh well. Um, where is it? Graphic assets. Um... Glitter eyes. Ah, not this one. Hold on. New glitter eyes. <laughs> this one's better. Nah, here we go. Right, so you just pick the one you want. So I'm gonna go for. Hmm. I like the look of these two, so I could go for that one. Yeah, I'll go for the green one. So what you're just gonna wanna do is zoom in a bit. Uh, it looks a bit weird there, as you can see. So what I'm going to do instead, maybe Scheme Maybe dodge add uh, I mean, you can disable the people, so then I'll see if I can get a better one Like these two Uh, this one might work better. Control you and then just change the color to what you want. Right. Now you've got some cool looking glittering eyes. Um, see how that really emphasizes the effect. Um, now what I like to do is mm, let me see if this is gonna work. Yeah, I merge all the layers together so it's one picture, and then I try to get a square going by just like 
you can see how my crosshair is. Uh, this cross I call it a crosshair or mouse icon. You can see how you can kind of make a square with the top left corner of it and this corner here. You see this little square you can just make here. So you want to just make something like that. Hold shift, bring down. Oh, this is a struggle because I've zoomed in. Uh, <laughs> hold on, let me get this. And then just do something along the same size like that. See, and then Control J. Actually, I've done that wrong. Hold on. Nah, I've done it right. Control J. Actually, no, I haven't. Ah. <laughs> right. Duplicate the layer first. Control J. Or you can always right click and then click duplicate layer. And then just do what I did again. And there. That looks a bit off, so I'm gonna just. Press delete, bring this to the top, effects. Um, what I like to do a lot is just go along here until you find really cool ones that like make a cool kind of border. Like this, this one is really nice. Because um, mine's green, I'm going to just try to use the green layer styles and see if I get a really cool looking one. If not, you can do, if you find a cool one that isn't like see through, you can make it see through though. So that's the plan. Hmm, I'm not really liking any of these. I might just go with like a transparent kind of one. That one's kind of alright. I like this one. Ah, this one's perfect. Okay. And what I like to also do is add a drop shadow, but this one's a bit weak, so... There we go. And for ah, uh, I was gonna blur the background, but you don't have to. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's about it for the tutorial. Um, I might add a bit more like color correction to it. Just add like some more contrast curves. And yeah, so I, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like, a uh, thumbs up. I just realised I said the same thing. Shit. Okay, just set, just give, leave a like, share, whatever. Um, it really means a lot, and I'll try to make more tutorials. Give me comments on what tutorials I should make. I'm thinking about making an intro tutorial again, but that will come out soon. So yeah, thank you guys. Peace.